I'm here again with Bishop Murray Galloway of Homefront Ministries. You just take a minute and jot that name down, Bishop Murray Galloway, Homefront Network or Homefront Ministries. You Google that, you'll come right up with all the work that, that he does in the earth today. It's been very interesting because we've talked about his initial calling and leading of the Lord. Uh, we talked about the, the, the leading of the Lord in study and how, how he does what he does and how he's come to where he is today by the leading of the Lord, not exactly a burning bush uh, uh, happening. Many times that the Lord has spoken to him directly, but that's not the leadership. It's usually the Lord speaks to you as you are on your way, as you are moving forward. And uh, none of us want to be uh, spoken to by the Lord saying, get up and get out. Uh, I think Abraham had that first time that he was told to get up and get out. Well, when the Lord has to speak you, uh, that, you're not walking in faith yet. You have to move into the future before the future can meet you coming down the road. So today, I want to ask uh, Bishop Murray about what part that relationships, ministry, ministry to relationships, play in your life. And you and I have crossed paths so many hundreds of times, uh, but until five years ago, we didn't know each other, never shaken your hand, right. had no knowledge. But the same pastor mm -hmm. that hugged you at 11 and told you that he was proud of you was the same pastor that worked for my father. And, uh, and he started me in the evangelistic ministry. And about five years ago, he called me, told me that he was nearing the end of his life and that he wanted uh, someone to be uh, the one that would take over his works and the things that he had done in the earth today. And that was Bishop Murray Galloway. Mm -hmm. And it's amazing how that relationship gave us instant favor with each other. Right. And we kind of knew where each other were coming from because of, uh, of, of, of the relationships that we'd had with other people. So uh, take it away and tell us what a part that that plays in your life and has played coming forward. Relationship has been everything uh, in my life. My pastor that we're talking about um, opened doors for me as a very young man uh, with different groups, uh, organizations. In fact, uh, he was preaching a conference in Bowling Green, Kentucky, and the uh, head of that group was sitting downstairs uh, having lunch in the basement in one of those Midwest churches and said, uh, I'm looking for a young man to preach a youth rally. And so uh, my pastor said, well, I have just the guy for that. The guy had never met me, uh, called me. I was in Jackson, Mississippi. I remember it vividly. And uh, I scheduled to go and preach a uh, youth rally on his recommendation, uh, preached that youth rally, booked six weeks of revival with preachers sitting in that youth rally, went to their national conference that summer, spoke on the national conference uh, uh, platform, was invited to come to California by uh, a, a preacher that was there at that national conference from Bakersfield, California, and uh, went there. Uh, he introduced me to others, uh, went to a church after I had been in California preaching for uh, five or six months, went to a church in Los Angeles uh, for a Sunday morning meeting, one of the last places I had scheduled to go, and stayed at that church for four years. Wow. Okay, <laughs> and uh, it kind of went from there. Now, since that time, uh, I've been up and down with uh, organizations. Uh, I've never been a good politician, uh, uh, so uh, my mouth has always got me in trouble by being too honest with uh, uh, in situations. Um, but relationships have have uh, driven to a certain degree it all of the opportunities I've ever had in my life uh, came through relationships uh, the churches some of the churches that I oversee now uh, were pastored by uh, men that I preached for as a very young man and developed relationships with over the years and then at the end of their life, we saw this shift take place where I had looked to them for 
counsel advice covering and uh, then uh, I was very honored the end of their life they looked to me and said uh, we need some help to protect our church uh, beyond our lives and so those relationships have served me well over the years now I want to say very briefly that um, the organizational relationships that did not work out for me uh, as you very well know I've had to work through some of that pain and, and uh, some of those feelings but what I've had to learn the last few years is to learn is to use my pain and bad experiences as fuel for my fire to light the way and give me energy for the future. And the thing about throwing that pain on the fire like a log on the fire is it provides energy and light to see the path ahead of you, but you also burn it up there. So I've had to learn learn to lay those memories down and use them as learning experiences to enrich my future relationships mm -hmm. instead of poisoning all my future relationships and this is what i found out uh, when i when i felt completely alone uh, the pastor that you're talking about helped start you in the ministry and who was my pastor on his deathbed literally uh, one of the greatest things he did was connect me to you and then you have connected me to others around the country and uh, uh, I have tried to develop those relationships and now I am seeing opportunities come my way that are through relationships right uh, relationships are so important so important you know I, I would like to I would like to to, to tell our audience that Murray doesn't just talk the talk. He walks the walk in relationship. I told uh, one of our elders the other day, I, I told him, I said, you know, he asked me about a certain man. I said, well, the only time I hear from him is when he's hurting, when he's going to give up. And I always jump in to build great love and, and get him going again. But I said, next time I'm going to tell him, hey, call me when you're having a good day. <laughs> call, me, call me when you're up. Call me when you've got a good thought or a good word. Uh, because that's important to a relationship. Now, I'm not going to do that. I'm, I'm still going to be here when the pain hits and the hurt hits. Sure. And I'm not going to burden that. But many people just haven't been taught. And perhaps you have your organization, your ministry, your calling, your leading and you just don't understand why you don't have other relationships in the ministry. Well, these are two-way streets. Right. Uh, I remember when I went through a great organizational pain some 30-something years ago, I received a phone call one night, late one night, from a man who was very high esteemed. He had walked by me probably a thousand times in his lifetime, never spoken to me. And all of a sudden on that day, he calls and said that the Lord told him to call me. And he started in on me mm -hmm. and began to hammer me. Mm -hmm. And I thought to myself, you don't have the relationship to talk to me and to have it work. If God did tell you to call me, I'm, I'm, I'm not buying that. But if he did call you, he would not call you to discourage me. And hammer me. Yeah. He would call, and we don't have the relationship. But when you have the relationship, right. then I'm able to say, you know, Murray, I wouldn't do that. I Let's look at that another way. It, the, the relationship is what brings authority into your life and then makes you an authority to help others. And so I just want to say uh, in, in front of this audience today that every Sunday morning, uh, many of your friends and ministers, I don't know how, many, how, many your, how big your pile is that you send it out to, but you send out this, this word, uh, two or three sentences long, to encourage because you know better than anybody that a Sunday morning can be a terrible morning as we get ready for church and get ready to go do and it's a hard day of our life and uh, and, and I just want to say that, that that you speak from where you come because you do so in the relationship you call people uh, you find out what they're up to you you, you you dig around the bush a little bit to find out and and, and that's why I wanted to ask you what part has it paid, played? 
in your life to bring you to that? Well, that's very important to me, Bishop. Um, I take that Sunday morning very seriously. I take that as seriously as my Sunday sermon to get up early, to spend some time praying. Um, and I never cease to be amazed. Every Sunday, two or three guys will tell me, oh, I needed that today. Many times I hear guys say, you're the only one I ever hear from. <laughs> and uh, I, I wow. want to be that guy. You know, I feel like God's called me to be an encourager. Uh, if they want to call me Barnabas, that's fine. If I can encourage my man in West Virginia or my man in California or my man in Tennessee, Texas, Indiana, Georgia, wherever they are, if I can make, if I can pick them up that morning, I feel like I have influenced a whole congregation that day. Well, you know, I think some people think you, know, you, you guys are, are uh, an independent group of men and you are jealous of the independency of the local pastor, but we have to remember that Jesus Christ did not call one to go walking with him. Right. He chose 12. Right. He chose a group. And that's not an excuse to become a loner. So don't become a loner. Uh, no. Take these uh, messages and take these times and these interviews and, and take what is applicable to you. Reach out to somebody today. Uh, make, a, make a text to somebody today. Text up and text down. Text to the low in your life. Text to the high in your life. Always make authority that is in your life to know that you appreciate them praying over you and being there should you need correction that they would come into your life and make the low know that you are there for them no matter how they come to you or when they come. I want to say God bless you. Thank you, Murray, for another exciting... I can't wait until the last segment that's coming up uh, tomorrow uh, for, for, for the people to know what you're thinking about, another issue. <laughs> And we'll talk about that tomorrow. God bless you.